Okay. Now, this is on uh, VGA. That's what they call it. And that's kind of, that's really ridiculous because computers, VGA comes, you know, from that abbreviation comes from computers. And VGA signal, you know, or VGA cable, and the VGA signal, which they used to call them VGA monitors, you know, the, uh, the uh, tube monitors, the ones with tubes in them, like an old tube TV, uh, can't say the right word. Um, anyway, <clears throat> the, that could be anywhere. I mean, they've had VGA monitors for so many years, you know, they started when? 70s, 80s, all the way up till they were very prominent until the last, what, ten year, five, ten years ago? Um, they were the monitor, you know. Uh, I mean, they had some flat screen monitors, LCD monitors, but they were so expensive, not too many people had them. So anyway, the VGA signal started out at, you know, way below 380, like 240 resolution, and got all the way up to, uh, I don't think it would do 1080, but it'd do like a step down, I think, from 1080 by, you know, whatever. I can't even remember the second number. But so anyway, this one should be uh, somewhere in the papers. I think it says four. I don't know if it's 480 or 680. I think it's 480, what this VGA is, 480 by. Um, <clears throat> It's not one that I think I would have any reason to use, but uh, unless for some reason you want to take a still shot. Well, I mean, you, no, it wouldn't matter because, oh, you can use that on, on uh, if you were using the, the USB cable, there's two resolutions available in there. It's I think it's 480. That's how come I remember the 480. 480 and uh, two, uh, 12. 70 or 1280 or something like that by and that that's it you know the very low and next thing under that's the next generally well not exactly the next one if you're in a, a computer and all the different settings there's even a couple you can have more than just like uh, 1280 and then jump up to 1080 there's a couple more in between there's different different sizes you know there's square for the for the vga monitors and then there's uh, rectangular for the widescreen flat screen monitors uh, lots and and then laptops there in between somewhere all the different brands of laptops have you know different sizes of laptop screens I mean have different sizes uh, and if you want to like say when you're using for instance when you're using a dual screen uh, you want to use a second screen you know a monitor in your laptop then you need to figure out what size you want to set it at to you know you want you want the screen on your laptop to fit that screen and then the one sending out over the VGA. Usually now they have HDMI, but sending it out over uh, to your regular monitor, you need the right size and shape for that. <clears throat> so, um, and that's that's the size and shape. That's not the dot, you know, the pixels or the dots per inch or uh, lines of resolution, you know, before they got into uh, pixels, it was lines of resolution, what they measured how sharp the image was. Uh, now it's megapixels, you know, pixels and megapixels, dots per inch. They use that term for printers. So, um, okay, so there we go. Now let's see how this looks. Uh, I will, you know, they're on the camera, and I, I guess what's, what I'll do is, I mean, I have the USB, well, I unplug the USB cable from the computer so that I could, that's the only way you can get it to go into regular recording mode if the Cable's in the computer and the computer's running, then it it pops up and says, what do you want to do? You want to use it as a webcam, basically. It says PC monitor or something, something that doesn't actually explain what it's really doing. And then it says uh, uh, something that means just sending the, you know, be able to transfer the files from this to the computer. And th I can do that. I just don't know how slow it'll be. But it's, I mean, otherwise I could take the, the thing out and put, I have a USB from micro SD into a USB adapter, and I could do it that way, but it's kind of wonky. It's almost bro It's it's. The, I had two of them. One of them they just quit working, and the other one the casing's broken. You got to be really careful, or you'll you'll. Pl I don't know where it is right now, <clears throat> or you'll plug it in. Um, you could plug it in upside down, and short some, you probably short some short your darn chips out on your computer, you know, or something, or it at least at the very least. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll try using that transfer since these aren't long videos. They shouldn't be too big. Okay, uh, and I've been careful every time to change the color back to vivid. 
The last video looked like it was vivid. This one does not to me. It looks back to being too bright. You know, everything's really, really white. And I am really, really white, but don't need to accentuate that. Since I don't get out in the sun, don't get no sunburn. Um, <clears throat> suntan. Okay, so anyway, this this be the first time I've compared every resolution. Uh, yeah, I think I'll put it up back on the one I think I'm going to want. Or maybe, yeah, I'll do that and then go from there. But as far as the USB, so far all I've been able to get out of it is the 1280, 1270, and the the light. It it uh, it seems to make it made no difference from what I could tell. I haven't actually watched back that last video, but I don't think it makes any difference to the USB when I change that. I sure hope that's not true. Getting hungry. I'm gonna have to eat. All right.